Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We are just about set to put the ball on the tee. Everybody get loose and get set for action from the Big 12. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Texas State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Ramsey's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. There's a strike complete. Brought down right around the 40. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. And he's tackled at the eight-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting ahead. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Only a few yards to go on second down after the penalty. down after a nice run up the middle so the option keeper will get him a first down it's a very well executed option play the blocking was there and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down and it's caught and he's brought down quickly that'll bring up second and three Tackle made, ground the 40-yard line. That's a deep line on the play. Let's go. First down. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. It was the safety who came from the secondary who made the sack. Man, this is an aggressive defense. Another blitz, and again, it works out. They send guys from everywhere to get to this quarterback. From the 44-yard line, second down. Taken down around the 46 yard line. Going deep. 
that close to being intercepted. Well, that's a big-time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Burke to punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. These tackles right around the 20. He's taken down behind the line. No game. That brings us third and ten. Hey, let's get this. Get this. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Check. Check. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. That'll make it fourth and ten. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's tackled at the 46 yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Excellent open field tackle. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Open field. He's out of bounds at the 28. That's good for a gain of five yards. Roger, Roger. That brings him second and five. Tackle at the 16 yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. The ball is loose. It's scooped up by the offense. They'll bring him down around the 10 yard line. Second and three, ball on the 10-yard line. Scrambling around. The ball pops free. Scooped up by the offense. on the extra point. A five-play, 36-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And down he goes at the 31. Samuel comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle.
Quick pass. He's taken down at the 40. to his receiver first down and they make the stop at the 43 not a safe pass at all really tight coverage and not a lot of room credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on up the middle for a nice game after a quarter of play we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands Texas A&M's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. You don't want baby. You Black want <laughs> Makes it to the 27. going to be sacked for a loss. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. This is the eighth play of this drive. He just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. And he's tackled right away. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. the 12th play of the drive. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Texas State is lining up to kick this one off. Smith from the three. He got hit hard. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M is up by four. And it's caught. And he's finally shoved out at the 36. He diagnosed the blitz immediately and had time to improvise for the big play. That's the kind of quick thinking you need to succeed as a quarterback. He's got it with room to run. To the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Touchdown, Texas AM.
Zola halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He makes it to the 48-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it 37. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 34. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. And he's tackled at the 22. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 25. Check 13. Kill, kill, kill. Nearly intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Check 13. Check 10. Green, nine. Fires it out. He's all the way home. Touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Robinson from the seven. Tackle at the 26. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas A&M is up four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. What a throw for a big gain. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He makes it to the 35-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. 
One minute left in the first half. Barrett back deep to return. And he muffed it. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. And I'll tell you, in a close game like this, you just can't do stuff like that. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. The Bobcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play it's second and ten ball on the 34 throws it in a hurry he's knocked out of bounds at the 24 Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. He scores. What a play. That was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Jones. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Robinson fields it at the three. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. There's a very impressive open field tackle. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Complete big loss. We played a half of football. Texas State in front, 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. Taken at the five. Not a very good kick return there, Kirk. They shut that one down in a hurry. There was nowhere to go once the return man got the ball. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see if they make any defensive adjustments here to try to slow things down. Texas State is up by three. He lets it fly. And he's got it. Brought down with only one man to beat. Play action. He'll scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds around the 16 yard line. He's tackled at the 19. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Second and 13. Ball on the 19. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Fitzpatrick picks up five with the carry. He scrambles, slings it. He's pushed out of bounds at the seventh. That makes it fourth and inches. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Robinson fields it at the 7. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Texas State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his receiver. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And they'll get him in the backfield. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. It's third and five. Ball on the 31-yard line. He 
He gets rid of this one. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Burke to punt. And down he goes at the 42. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Texas State up six. And they make the stop at about the 49. Space. He takes it right side for a good game. Black five, black five, green go. We owe you. We owe you that. We owe you that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Red, two, go. And a quick throw. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Around the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Fires right side, got his tail back. They'll bring him down at the 23. Texas State is up by six. And down he goes, the 10 yard line. Touchdown, Bobcats. And he adds the extra point. So a 10-play, 58-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Play. The score now, 27-14. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That's a team of two. That brings up second and one. He 
He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Goss picks up about three with that catch. Nice throw and catch there to get past the sticks. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Caught with room to work. He steps out at the 49. First down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's brought down at the 20 yard line. That's a deep 29 on the way. First down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 15-yard line. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. Texas State got a 13-point lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Caught open field. Tackle made at the nine. Stevens on the tackle at the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quickly, he's got the tailback on another catch. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up second and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 77-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. And he has it on the corner. The 50. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Texas State with a six-point lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. Again, he'll get the call. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. They go with the run. He's got the corner. Nice run to the outside. Setting up play action. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So the sack makes this a second and long. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! And he's 
taken down at the 33-yard line. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Just under three to go in regulation. Red two. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Tackles him hard at the 41. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Henderson awaits the snap. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So the Aggies have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. Well, they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters, is trying to get that W. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. That's good for the game 13 yards. First down. Second and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. That's good for a game of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. to the receiver, incomplete. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Just under two to go in the game. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Nice run up the middle. It's Patrick. Gains about five yards on the run. Texas A&M will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second and five here. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 12. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll go with the run once again. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, second down. Make the stop right around the two-yard line. That's a That'll bring up third and inches. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Mike 36, Mike 36. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 27-21. Texas State. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.